So here's one of my newest purchases, uh, Tim Jim's Age of Exploration. I've played this once before long, long ago when I was uh, in Buffalo. And uh, I hadn't read the rules. The only guy who had read them almost never read and explained rules. Did a terrible job. A friend of mine who I trust a little more on rules took a look at them and kind of threw them back in disgust. All the same, I thought there was an amazing game under here. Um, I think my standards have risen, but uh, my feeling was something that's sort of a cross between kind of a conquistador naval exploration type game and the source of the Nile with land exploration. Really excited me that there was a Northwest Passage that you could actually go through conceivably. Uh, turns out it's not useful anyway, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to play this pure solitaire. It's not really intended that. It's sort of like Source of the Nile. It's sort of a multiplayer solitaire game. Um, but there's some chance for interaction. And this is my first playing. I may end up having to give up in the midway because the rules really are terrible. Uh, Tim Jim has horrible ideas of how to do rules. And in this case, it's just too complex a game for them to handle the rules. Uh, they got better a little later on, but it's still pretty bad. So what, what did I do? I outfitted my expedition, and I do that by drawing a bunch of cards. And these are things that I can take, some of which I have choices on. And what I ended up choosing, um, since I'm starting in Europe, I don't have a lot of choice. I have to take the sturdy ship and the extra crew, because uh, the other things are natives and they're not available. Um, instead of supplies, I chose to take provisions. My plan, I don't know what I'm, where I am, but I'm the first explorer. The, the, the known sea hasn't been found. I'm out to get to the Indies and to make some trading. So instead of extra supplies, I end up taking a trade provisions. And I do the same with the letters of credit. I expend that in order to get trade provisions, or trade goods. Uh, and what else did I get? I got an extra ship, which is cool, because that allowed me to actually take the extra crew. Otherwise, I would have used the letter of credit for the ship. And I got a fervent mercenary, uh, mission, missionary, which, um, since I'm just exploring, may not mean much, but we'll see. I'm going to play the whole, whole campaign out if I can, but I do want to get a feel for how the game goes. So after leaving Europe, the first card drawn is a storm, and I had to make a check against uh, navigation. Um, I chose to run with the storm, and I got two progress, which shows up by moving on the map two spaces. <coughs> but then I had to also check uh, seaworthiness, and I failed that sea check. And ended up taking damage on my ship, which is marked this way. I'm not going to be going into this kind of detail on every action I take, obviously. But because the game is so complex, well, so poorly explained, most of it's actually on the cards, and that's part of what I want to show, I think. Um, I haven't gotten to the inland stuff, which I'm more confused about, so we'll see. So after catching two more storm cards and battening down the hatches on each one of them, surviving, luckily. Uh, this card, which would have been a problem if beyond known progress, but otherwise I'm just able to move forward. And I moved uh, to the end of the known sea progress and then did a status change onto the island. Uh, my plan there is to refurbish my ship and maybe grab some provisions as well. So, <coughs> After repairing my ship, I look at the uh, the cargo rolls. It looks like I was overburdened anyway to begin with. I had three crew, uh, two provisions. That's what you come with for free, I think. Uh, so that puts me at five, which is the base for Caravel. I only have room for one more thing. So I'm going to dump one of those trade goods. Uh, the only thing I could take for him is copper hulls assuming that I had done things right. Those are kind of questionable anyway, but we'll see. 
On leaving the space, I drew the missionary Anger's uh, Natives Coastal Encounter. You have to do that when you leave a space. Which meant I got no progress. I had to check combat. Actually, I failed to leave. And I ended up losing the combat, losing a man. This is making the assumption that the personal arms card read here means you make a roll, a check on personal arms. If you get a four or less, you get a plus one. That happened. After making some progress uh, through quite a number of decent win cards, we started running into the scurvy events, which could also indicate, in this case, because it's becalmed, just sitting out at sea eating food. Um, we're out of provisions again. We stocked up one more at the islands after losing the crew. Pretty soon we might resort to cannibalism. As they run out of food, the crew ends up afraid, but Vespucci convinces them if eating people were wrong, why did God make them out of meat? At which point God responds by sending a hurricane. Uh, they batten down the hatches and survive it.